of this gang? I just wanted to come and stop by really quickly and say hi. Guys, this deck just got me a championship. It's unbelievable. Here, I'll show you guys. I'll have to prove it right here. Look, this is my name. 352720 is my number, Batata. And look at that championship. That's pretty gorgeous. So I'm invited to the finals, which is great. And this deck was the reason I got invited. So let's just go through it really quickly, guys. This is an amazing Dynasmon deck. You don't need any level 7s in this deck because uh, the level 6s do so much. You want to keep them on the field. And then we have some support for our level 6s uh, in, this, in the looks of uh, level our level 4s where we have Mimic Mons and Gallant Mons for Master Mon. And then uh, we call out all our level 3s with the regular Angel Mon Shebang. And so our level 3s are pretty important for us. That's why we keep War Graham on there. Maybe we can get off a couple of Bushi Agumons and end games. Those are 4 attacks basically. If you can get off 2 Bushi Agumons with the Andrew Amon and 2 War Greymon attacks, that's 4 attacks in 1 turn. So we have potential for OTK still. So I really like having War Greymon, Mastermon, and Dynasmon in this deck. And uh, let's just go through my choices here for every single thing I do. So BB Mon is amazing. Once you're at three security, you gain a memory. <laughs> you need anytime you gain a memory, you're winning in this deck, okay? Because I'll explain to you in a second. Upamon, uh, if you have three security or less, draw one. We're gonna have three security or less a lot throughout the game, so we're gonna draw one. And the reason is because we trash our, we control our own security. We trash it and we recover it whenever we want to. So moving on, we have Salmon to recovery, just an extra recovery, just in case we run up into any hiccups. We do have the Bushi Agumon here. He ends games. He's really helpful. Sometimes you want a four, you want four of him. I would not play less than three, because seeing two of him is really helpful. Uh, gives you potential to end games. Lucimon, just one. You don't need any more. He's kind of just hanging out. Um, just in case uh, there's a huge, huge detriment where I'm really behind. He's he's good to kind of call out free recovery. Whereas Salmon is a little slower. But you really don't need more than him. And plus he starts messing you up because you can't digivolve on top of him. So if he's the only level 3 in your hand, he really puts you behind. Uh, so you don't want too many of him, but I just run one. Maybe two is maximum you would run, but I would not run anymore. Starmons are nice. They're always good. Uh, there's always potential to kill an opponent with just minus 1k or minus 2k or minus 3k. And that's very easy to get uh, in this deck. So Starmons are always a possibility. So I always keep them there, at least the two. Tippermon is really nice. It gives you a little addition in your hand. Obviously, you can reduce him for more Starmons or maybe the other Pulsemons. But I really like this addition because we do trash our security at least once per turn and we get to activate him. Pulsemon is amazing. I would not reduce him at all. I would keep him at 4 for sure. Every time he comes out, potential of gaining a memory or drawing or both. And that's insane. That's really good. So sometimes he comes out for free and you gain memory for free. And you draw as well. Uh, so our level 3s are pretty basic. Really, there's not much you can do. You, I guess you could get rid of Salamons, maybe for an extra Lucimon and a Tapermon. But, uh, or another Bushi Agumon. But uh, I felt very comfortable running this lineup. I had no issues, no hiccups. I had a lot of, uh, basically, options where I could do whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted, really, with this lineup. So it was really nice. And you draw a lot in this deck, so you're going to see all your rookies. So Piedmon here is my level 4. I just needed some uh, blockers and some cheap blockers. Wizardmon is really important for this deck. He makes all my 4 memory Digimon 3 memory. Because basically when they Digivolve, they all do something with the with the security. So they're always going to be 3 memory Digimon uh, to Digivolve. And that's amazing, right? That's insanely good. Then we have Mimicmon for some options with the... Uh, Mastermon, uh, you could run a, b a bunch of Gallopmon, Gatomons, but I really wanted to try out Mimicmon, and he did amazing. Every time he came out, he he would basically let you Mastermon for one memory. So you can go from one memory into Mastermon, uh, and you're going to trash the top of your security. If you have Wizardmon, you're going to recover one, so now the opponent is at two memory, because he was at three when you evolved uh, to Mastermon, because you, you had one memory. Then with Mimicmon, if you call that guy out of the trash with the, your Mastermon ability, you just literally call down Mastermon for free. 
for one memory, which is insane. Now you can attack with the Master Mon if, if underneath it is an Angel Mon, then you're gonna gain a lot from your level threes, and that's just so amazing. I love I love the interaction so much. Obviously, we only run uh, three War Grommon. Sorry about that. Looks like there was four, but there's only three of them, and then one more Angel Mon for recovery. You can mess that. You can mess around with this. Um, I've used it throughout my tournament. By the way, this deck did not lose one game. Okay. I did not lose a single game throughout my local store championship. I think we played between 18 to 20 players. There was four rounds. And because I didn't lose any game, I think they just had an undefeated immediately. And uh, they just uh, crowned me champion. I think we were supposed to go fifth round, but uh, we, we just ended with four. And then, um, so this recovery is really nice. You have options, guys. Sometimes... Uh, I mean, if we can add more Angel Mons that <laughs> call out level 3s, we would, but we don't. And we don't really need these War Growl Mons anymore. And so we get a, basically a level 5 that does what level 6s do, where they recover. And then that's this is where our bread and butter is. Our Mastermon is super good. She activates with Dynasmon very easily. Even without Dynasmon, you can call out Gatumon. And you're never going to be behind, no matter what you call out. Even if you call out a Pulsemon or a Lucimon. You're still recovering. Even if you call out a Salmon or Bushi Agumon or a Starmon, you're still gaining a lot from that call. Um, and if you call out a Mimicmon or a Gatumon, you see you get a lot more than what you got from the level 3s as well. So Mastamon is really good. Uh, sh what I like to do is maybe I like to start the game with her and uh, pressure the opponent. And if the opponent is like security control, I would get more of her out. If not, I would start moving on to my Dynasmon uh, or my War Greymon to try to end the game. Now, Dynasmon, he likes to slow the game down. Uh, once he's on the field, every time you get attacked uh, and reduce the security, once per turn, you recover. So, basically, you have a blocker on the field now. They need an extra attack every single time. To After the attack, they need an attack just to go through the first attack they went through. So, they attack, they hit your security, they die, <laughs> you recover... And now they're on a they're that they lost and you didn't lose anything. Dynasmon is so good at the game, and his second ability lets you go throughout your deck, trash whatever you don't want, which basically works out for Mastermon amazingly, because you get to trash any level fours, any Mimicmons or Gatumons you found in there. And then uh, next turn you can call out the Mastermon, uh, and you get so much benefit. So Dynasmon is insanely good, and because he can recover every turn. Uh, we actually use the options that remove our own security, and that's where War Grimon kind of sits as well. Maybe you can add some more removal of your own security in this deck. Maybe I would add two more. Somehow, uh, one of the new option cards that just remove your security for minus 5k or something. But I really like this lineup. You do feel like during your turn, if you don't have Blind Raid, there is no way for you to remove your own security. But that's not really necessarily that bad, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, you can just keep that security on there and figure out some other strategy. Anyways, TK at 3, you need this TK. Once you have 3 memory every turn, that's it. You kind of win the game. There's nothing... I mean, you're already gaining so much memory. So if you have, if you start the game with 3 memory, that, I mean, that's crazy good. That's so insane. Blinding Ray, the turn you use him, you're going to gain so much memory. So you're going to re reduce your security by 1, gain 2 memory... Wizard Mon is gonna gain a memory, then Dynasmon is gonna recover that security, and you gain and you lost nothing. And then if you attack and you have Bibi Mon, you gain another memory. I mean, there's just so much potential of gaining memory in this deck. It's so good. And if you call out a Pulse Mon, you go again another memory. If you have three or se less security, so yeah, guys, this deck is insanely good. Let me know your uh, opinions of it. Uh, but yeah, guys, this deck is uh, is a champion, man. It won me the deck. It won me the games. Got me the championship I wanted. Let me know your opinions. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.